All right, and now we can learn how to upgrade an iOS on a router, firewall, switch, whatever. It all applies to the same thing when it comes to Cisco. All right, a couple things we need. An IP address on a computer. All right, so that's 10.0.1.26 slash 24 network. Default gateway is one, which is just my Quest DSL router. Um, and then we also need what's called a TFTP server. Um, for those unfamiliar with it, it is a free free deal you can download. My favorite TFTP is from tftpd32.junin.net. TFTP stands for Trivial File Transfer Protocol. It is the, basically the main way of transferring iOS and simple data around. Um, some iOSs and some people prefer to use FTP or just because it's um, how can I say this? It's it's more not secure. Secure FTP is more secure, but FTP is just more of a it checks better, I guess is the way to say it. But I use Trivial File Transfer Protocol just because I like it. It's quicker, it's faster, and I haven't had any problems with it. You can download it from here. It's free. Um, if you want, you can donate. I'm sure that would make him quite happy. And it works with all. Um, both uh, Windows 7, XP, Vista, 32, and 64-bit applications. When you download it and install it, it'll look like this. You'll have a server interface, which is 10.0.1.26 for me. Um, if you have multiple network cards, it'll show different IP addresses. These are IPv6 addresses, but I'm not worried about those. And then you have your current directory. Current directory, you can change as you want. For me, um, I just change it to desktop slash TFTP, and then you have show DIR, it shows you what's in the directory, and in here I have an iOS for a 2600 router. This is the newest version available for my 2600 router, and it's what we'll be upgrading to. I've already actually upgraded my router to this version, just to make sure it's compatible and everything works okay. Um, but here is our router. Well, here is our interface to our router. I consoled into it, you can actually use secure um, Telnet or secure shell, whatever you want, to upgrade an iOS. Um, I have done it before. I just prefer to console into these things when I'm upgrading iOS because sometimes stuff goes wrong. All right. So on the router, you do need IP um, IP address to do. Make sure you can have one. Um, mine is 10.0.1.200. Also slash 24. Excuse me. And just a quick overview to make sure you know how to set an IP address. You config T, you access your interface. My interface is fast Ethernet 00. Oh, make sure you type into there. And IP address 10.0.1.200. Nope. And then 255, 255, 255.0 for the subnet mask, which is slash 24. Make sure you get familiar with that with the uh, CCNA if you're planning to take that test. And do it, and then go ahead and write it. Building configuration. Okay, configured by console on March 1st. That date is wrong. It's okay though. Um, this is an older router, so it does take a little bit to get through pretty much anything. It was made and manufactured in 2003, so it's 2012 now. These things last a lifetime it seems. All right so now let's go ahead and start the TFTP process. So let's go back to our TFTP server application here. Let's show DIR. Select the image that we want. Hit copy there. That's going to copy it into our clipboard. Just the name. Doesn't actually copy the file. Just the name of the file. And from our command line here on our router you type copy TFTP colon and then flash colon. So what this says is, all right, we're going to copy from a TFTP server to our flash, which a flash is basically like your C drive on a computer. It's the first part of where everything's stored. Hit enter. It's going to ask that an address or name of the remote host. Remember, my address on my computer was 10.0.1.26. So you just type 10.0.1.26. File name. Remember, we copied that. So if you just right-click into the putty session there, it's going to go ahead and paste that file name. Hit enter. Destination. Leave it the same. Boom. 
it says there's already a file name, blah, blah, blah. And then it's going to start accessing the TFTP. If we look at it, boom. And it says, oh no, we have a problem. We don't have enough flash. Erase before copying. Confirm. Yep. Erasing the flash. Yep. Now, when it says all files, um, it doesn't actually mean all files because your VLAN database will still be there and your config.txt will still be there. So um, it's a good idea always to make a backup of those just in case before we do this. Um, you never know what can go wrong with these kind of things. I mean, they're temporary devices. Right now, these E's represent that the Cisco router is actually saying erase, 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 erase. And it's erasing bit one bit at a time until it's done. It's going to take a little bit, so I'll put this on pause until it's done. Oh, a little bit behind. All right, so it's finished erasing from flash, and it's actually transferring now. It's at 4% done. It's going to take about 10, 15 minutes. Um, you can just watch this and it'll continue. I'll actually pause it because it does, like I said, take 10 to 15 minutes to get this done. Um, and I'll bring you back as soon as it's done downloading. And we're back. All right. So it did complete, no problem. Um, it did check some analysis, just making sure that the file was the same file in the beginning as it was when it, it was when it came back in the end. This is a safety precaution to make sure. We don't mess up our iOS. So now the last step is just to reload your router and the new iOS will be up and going. Hope this has helped you and I hope uh, you'll watch more of my videos. Thanks.